Your soil can fool you. It can look rich, dark, and crumbly, yet still be biologically exhausted. Plants stall, growth slows, leaves lose color. And, well, no matter how much compost you add, nothing seems to change fast enough. Here's the truth most gardeners never hear. Soil doesn't come alive when you feed plants. It comes alive when you feed microbes. And there's one simple overlooked kitchen ingredient that can flip dormant soil into a living system in days, not months. Chickpea flour. This is not hype, it's biology. And once you understand why it works, you'll never look at soil fertility the same way again. Why most healthy-looking soil is actually starving. Soil fertility isn't about what you see. It's about what's happening underground. Plants don't pull nutrients straight from compost or fertilizer. Microbes do the heavy lifting. Bacteria and fungi unlock nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace minerals, then deliver them to roots in usable forms. The problem is speed. Compost and organic matter break down slowly, especially in compacted or tired soil. Microbes stay underfed. Populations stay low. Nutrient cycling crawls along. That's why gardens often take an entire season to respond, even when you're doing everything right. What soil microbes really need is quick energy. Something they can digest immediately, you know, without waiting weeks or months. Chickpea flour isn't special because it's trendy. It's special because its chemistry lines up perfectly with microbial biology. It contains simple carbohydrates for fast energy, plant-based proteins, and amino acids that microbes recognize instantly. Unlike wood chips, straw, or unfinished compost, chickpea flour doesn't need a long breakdown phase. The moment it hits moist soil, microbes get to work. Enzymes activate, cells divide, populations explode. This sudden surge jump-starts nutrient cycling and, well, wakes up soil that's been biologically sluggish for years. Microbial growth depends on three things, moisture, oxygen, and food. Chickpea flour delivers food in a water-soluble form that spreads easily through soil pores. That matters more than most people realize. Bacteria respond first. Within 24 to 72 hours, their numbers increase dramatically. As bacteria multiply, they release byproducts that fungi feed on. Fungal networks follow, weaving through soil and wrapping around plant roots. That's when real soil function returns. This chain reaction is why gardeners often notice deeper leaf color, faster growth, and stronger root development within a single week instead of waiting an entire season. The exact chickpea flour formula that works. Precision matters here. More is not better. The goal is stimulation, not overload. The most reliable mix is one teaspoon of chickpea flour dissolved in one gallon of water. Stir thoroughly until the flour is fully suspended. Use non-chlorinated water, if possible. Let the mixture sit for about 30 minutes. That short rest allows enzymes already present on the flour to activate before application. For a garden bed measuring about 10 square meters, mix four gallons of water with four tablespoons of chickpea flour. Apply only to moist soil. If the soil is dry, water first. 
Microbes cannot function without moisture. For a larger area, around 100 square meters, use 10 gallons of water with 10 tablespoons of chickpea flour. Apply evenly using a watering can or a sprayer without fine filters. The flour particles need to pass freely. So you'll want to apply once every two weeks during active growth. Early morning or late afternoon works best, you know. It's best to avoid extreme heat, as high temperatures can stress microbes before they really have a chance to establish themselves. Now, what happens underground after application? Well, within just a few days, microbial respiration increases sharply. That's a sign of life returning, really. Nitrogen becomes more stable, but, you know, still available for the plants. Phosphorus shifts into more soluble forms, and those trace minerals that were locked in soil particles start moving again. The root zones, they turn into biological hotspots. Roots begin to branch more aggressively, and nutrient uptake improves quite noticeably. Plants respond with richer colour, faster growth, and, well, better resilience to stress. This isn't force-feeding plants. It's restoring the soil system that feeds them naturally. The biggest mistakes gardeners make? Well, over-application is the most common error. Too much chickpea flour can cause temporary oxygen depletion, especially in heavy soils. Microbes consume oxygen while feeding. Flood them with food and you stress the system. Stick to the ratios. Always. Another mistake, you know, is applying to bone-dry or chemically damaged soil. Chickpea flour feeds existing life. It does not create life from nothing. Soil must be, well, slightly damp and aerated. If your soil has been heavily treated with chemicals, rebuild biology slowly before using this method. Chickpea flour doesn't replace compost. It accelerates it. Think of compost as slow-release fuel. Chickpea flour is the ignition key. It, ah, jumpstarts microbial activity so organic matter breaks down faster and more efficiently. Used together, they really do shorten the gap between adding organic inputs and seeing real results. This is why the method works best at the start of the growing season, after transplanting, after soil disturbance, or following heavy rain or drought. These are moments when microbial populations are suppressed and, well, they need a boost. Avoid use during cold, dormant periods. Microbes slow down when soil temperatures drop. Timing, honestly, really matters. Repeated, correct use strengthens microbial diversity rather than creating dependency. As populations stabilize, soil structure improves. Aggregates form. Water retention increases. Nutrient cycling? Well, it becomes self-sustaining. Over time, you'll notice something important. You need fewer inputs. Plants thrive with less intervention because the soil ecosystem is finally doing its job. That's real fertility, the kind that lasts. Why this method aligns with nature is simple, really. This chickpea flower trick works because it feeds the soil food web at its foundation. It respects biology instead of fighting it. It doesn't push plants. It empowers microbes.
That's why results are fast without sacrificing long-term health. No shortcuts, no gimmicks, just understanding how living soil actually functions. If you want living soil now, not next year, this method belongs in your gardening toolkit. If this guide helped you see soil differently, make sure you subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven for more practical biology-first gardening strategies that actually work. Share this with another gardener who's tired of waiting months for results and wants real soil life back today.